I'm going to make cavatelli. It's a beautiful spinach cavatelli, so it's bright green. It's delicious and it's perfect for pasta genovese. We start off with some spinach. It's just been blanched and squeezed out. Into that, I'm going to add three eggs and one yolk and make sure that you, like me, pour some of your egg on the bench. Brilliant. Okay, sufficiently blended. As you can see, very green. I'm using fine semolina flour, of course. Just get your mix, pour it into a little well in the middle. I'm always banging on about it, but this is a great time to get your kids in the kitchen. It's bright green, incredible hulk. Alfie loves making this. I'm a bit sad he's not here making it with me today. The incredible honk, he calls it. I find if you wear an Italian soccer shirt, it generally helps you get in the mood. You know what I mean? And you can sort of, you can feel it a little bit more. You know what I mean? When's the last time you ran onto a field? Hey, 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 let's not, let's not criticize my sporting capabilities. You do need to need it. It is a form of exercise. Strap yourselves in and get ready to sweat it out. Your nonna will tell you, you gotta need it for 10 minutes. Like, I, can't, I just can't, I don't have it in me. I cannot find that sort of three, four minutes kneading is, is plenty. I'm knackered already and it's only, it hasn't even probably been a minute, has it? Oh my goodness. Has it been two minutes yet? Maybe. Okay, I'm done. Seriously, that's enough. So Genovese sauce, the olive oil is a big part of the base of this sauce. Get some in there, like don't be shy. Onions straight in. Laws on the coffee machine. Oh, she's mucked up the ground after. One clove of garlic. Now that's gonna take about sort of five to 10 minutes. Potatoes, I've got some Kiflas, Kifla potatoes. Sounds weird, right? Potatoes and pasta at the same time. It's not weird, it is delicious in the same way that potato and rosemary on a pizza is far superior than ham and pineapple. Should we have that debate right now? Pineapple on a pizza? Comments below, please. Are we, what about in here? Have we got pineapple on a pizza, yes or no? No. no. Yes. One yes. Green beans, we are gonna cut them at roughly the same sort of length as the potatoes were. Do you make me a coffee, darling? I did, I love. Nothing says I love you like a cheeky little macchiato. Do we have the Mel Melbourne argument? Long or short? Short all the way. What does that even mean? Just means normal. Okay, I've got some broad beans here, capers and gherkins. So they're gonna bring little juicy pops to the pasta dish. Bunch of basil. I'm just gonna go straight through it. This is the herb for this dish. I'm gonna put the zest of two lemons in here, because I can. I made some ricotta the other day. There's a recipe in a link below. If you wanna know how to make it, it's really easy. Just break it up into your bowl. Vodka. Not traditional in a Genovese pasta. I'm gonna put about a shot and a half. I was in. gonna say, in what land is that a shot? Oh, come on now. And then I've got this. Now this is like a seaweed dashi, okay? I'm gonna use this as the main salt content for this dish. It is a shade of green, which helps this entire dish. And then I've also got some habanero hot sauce, green also, green olive brine, a little splash of that. If the nonna's seen me putting seaweed kombu in a Genovese pasta, I've never heard the end of it. Last few things, olives, Chop, 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 chop. Anchovies. These are gonna go straight into my pan with the onions. In they go. So what we wanna do now is start to build this sauce out. And to do that, we're gonna add another splash of vodka. Oh my God. What? Not enough. Perfect. And we're just gonna let that rock and roll on the side of the stove while we make the actual pasta. Now, get yourself your pasta, roll it out into a long, thin sausage. Cut them up. You'll see the nonas where they'll do it like that. They'll get a knife and one of these little ribbed boards and they'll go like that. And there it is. Now we just go. We're gonna make lots of cavatelli.
I can't wait to be a nono. I can, like I genuinely can't wait till my kids have kids. I loved my nono so much. Isn't it good to be a nono as well that you can just you give the kids back if you're a grandparent? That is looking absolutely sensational. Rapidly boiling salty water. Pasta in. That's gonna take about four minutes to cook. We still want a bite in it. It needs to have a bounce. We're gonna add in now all of our other ingredients from the bowl. And have a look inside that pan. This looks mental. And I haven't even put any pasta in it yet. Let's have a look and see where our pastas are. It's now floating to the top. So we know it's well on its way to being cooked. And now you can see that in the center of it is still a little bit white. That's perfect. Oh, oh fucking missed it. No. What a waste. Right, make sure you drain it well. The pecorino's gonna add a layer of seasoning, saltiness, and umami. And I'm gonna add my ricotta cheese. Make a little hole, blob it in there. I'm just gonna call it. This is one of the best pasta dishes I've made in ages. Finish off with a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Is that a little or a lot? That's quite a lot. It's quite a lot? Yeah, I was quite shocked. Shocked? Yeah. Wow, strong words. There you have it. That is one of the best pasta genoveses that you will ever eat. Get after it, it's delicious. Thanks for watching, and if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.